Some time ago, I did a video talking about how a conservative and a, a libertarian, I mean, small L libertarian, not a, not a voting libertarian, but like a true blue all the way philosophic libertarian, a voluntarist, um, that they're not similar philosophies at all. And I have many of my friends who are conservatives that say, you know what, we're really pretty close in what we believe. We have a few little differences, um, but overall, we're pretty, just about the same. And man, I love you, but no, we are not. Um, we are very different. We are on opposite sides of a very important line. So on one side of this line are conservatives, uh, liberals, you know, the left, the right, uh, voting libertarians, um, people who who agree on a large number of things. You agree that whether or not you like a government, that it exists and it needs to exist. Like, I agree that it exists, but I don't agree that it needs to. You and a liberal and a capital L libertarian, Ron Paul, all agree Eh, there kind of needs to be some government. There needs to be a little bit, but it needs to be the size and perform the functions that I personally think it needs to serve. And Biden agrees with that. Obama agrees. Hitler agreed. Uh, Reagan agreed. Uh, Trump agrees. Most, uh, just about anybody that would vote or participate in the system agrees hey, it just needs to be like I think it needs to be based on the U.S. government's constitution or my own reading or my own thoughts or my own prayers or feelings or whatever. But as long as it's the size and the shape that I want it to be, I'm willing to work with it. And it, it's going to be, you know, it's, it's what's got to be. So that's one side of this very important line in the sand. And I'm on the other side. And on my side, it's more of a moral side. It's also pragmatic, but it's largely a moral uh, decision that I look at things and I say, well, is government a morally acceptable thing? Is it okay for some people to tell other people what to do, to, to use force, to initiate violence, force, to force other people to do things like have a safe workplace, things which I think are a good idea, some of them, but I would never dream of forcing someone. So I look at this and I go, no, if I don't have a right to force my neighbor to have a clean shop, uh, I, it's not up, it's not acceptable for me to go in there and tell them to have a clean shop. Well, if I can't do it, then can I hire a, a mayor or a senator or a congressman to start up some bureaucracy called OSHA that will then tell him to do it? Well, no, I can't delegate a right that I don't have, I and half a dozen or two million or seven billion other neighbors can't get together and say, hey, we'd like this group of people over here to wear some fancy suits and be in a really big fancy marble hall and pound gavels and, and have all kinds of rituals and other oh, distinguished gentlemen from the state. And then they come up with these rules and form these bureaucracies. No, like that's... I, it, it's kind of this utopian dream that that could work, but it, I, it, it ain't right. Like it's just morally wrong. And so I can't agree to that. And then another big kind of non-starter that we can't even really move on in a conversation until we would come to an agreement on this. And that would be stealing from people. And, and that's the only way governments can exist. So if governments don't steal, and of course they call it taxation, but if they don't Let's look at the real definition of the word uh, of tax or steal, which is taking something from somebody else that once belonged to them that they rightfully earned, taking it from them against their will to permanently deprive them of that property. Well, that's, that's theft, that's stealing. And I, my moral stance, my principles, uh, my worldview is that that is wrong. And so I can't agree with that even just a little bit, even if it's just what the Constitution said, you know, we just need to steal enough from the whiskey rebellion sales or what, like even those little tiny things that George Washington wanted uh, or, or the little tiny governments early in, in uh, the history of the United States that the little states or whatever would want, I, I just don't think stealing is okay. And I don't think rape is okay. And, and so I don't, 
I don't say either of those is okay just a little bit because I really like what will come of them. Like, I can't say that. That's not being intellectually consistent. So the fact that I am holding this position that I hold does put me on the opposite side of this line. And that's where I stand. And I'm open to hearing a new, like I've listened to so many hundreds, thousands of people explain, well, you know, you just, you have to have some government because if you don't, you know, the, the people will just go crazy. You have to have some government. That's just reasonable. Yeah. I've got to add here an actual intellectual argument and I'm open to it. I'm open to somebody providing some evidence, um, some a good argument as to why government is morally acceptable. Um, so until that happens, no, my friend, we're on opposite sides and it's going to make for some great conversations over beer, but we've got to both just like, I got to call you on that and say, no, we're not almost the same. The fact that you want to reduce taxes by 99% and I want to reduce them by hundred percent. There's a lot of distance between that 1% and that 99% or the hundred percent and the, the 99% huge, it's way more than just 1% difference. It's a whole philosophy. It's a whole morality. So we are in fact different, but uh, I look forward to being your friend and chatting with you about this stuff and learning from you and hopefully sharing some of my ideas with you. Love y'all.